I'd be doing you a great disservice if we didn't actually deal with the emotion of fear. Terror was what I felt when I first saw the light come on. My girlfriend said to me that she had a terrible dream that I died a death alone in the Pacific. And I had a engine out over um, the Strait of Malacca at 14,000 feet. When I talked to my father, he said, you know, you've had some success in your life. You don't need to do this. You're just going to get yourself killed. But I realized that I had about five or 10 minutes that were going to determine, you know, the rest of my life. And what I came to realize is I needed to just focus on my fears, not the fears that were coming up with other people. My first reaction was panic. And it was sort of a primitive fear that I was feeling. I could feel the sweat start to drip down my back. I had to make a decision. Hi, I'm Robert DeLorenis, and pilot. I've been flying for just over seven years. And in my plane, the Spirit of San Diego, I visited over 53 countries and territories in that time. When I was planning for my circumnavigation, I talked to several people, and I found that many of them had fears themselves. One of my instructors told me, you can't be afraid if you're prepared. Just because you get past the fear doesn't mean you'll be tested, but you do know that you can handle it when it comes up. What I'm going to do is teach you about what we learn from aviation. We'll apply that in our lives and then as a result become better pilots.